Hello everyone, I'm Pasquale Marino, founder of Mason and Art, and we are today with uh, Anna, uh, owner of Gallery Anna25, which, which is an amazing gallery in Kreuzberg. Hello Anna. Hello, hello, hi. Happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> so Anna, how have you started to be a governess? Oh, actually, uh, when I was 16, I decided that I want to be a gallerist. <laughs> and then I yeah, worked out that I studied art history. And when I was, and while my studies, I did different internships in museums and also uh, in galleries and also did an assistant uh, job in the gallery. And still studying, I started with my NR25 project where I organized every three months an exhibition for 25 hours. It was actually for my 25th birthday, <laughs> the 25th of April. I organized the first exhibition in my apartment. And, yeah, and then I continued till I got this gallery space. And yeah. <laughs> and the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, how do you select your artists? Oh, um, like my program is uh, contemporary landscapes, landscapes, <laughs> um, unconventional photographs, and things in between. And yeah, I look if there's a fit the program and if I like the art. Uh, like uh, galleries are very subjective thing. Uh, of course, I have an. I studied art history because I wanted to have like a background to judge art uh, on a yeah object objective uh, version. Like uh, yeah, so I studied it and I tried to choose art which yeah fits good quality, which can be art history in future. Yeah, 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 yeah I understand. And uh, how do you feel like uh, being a, uh, with a gallery in Berlin? Um, I really like Berlin as a place and uh, for me it's been good for as a gallery in Berlin. And uh, even though Berlin is a uh, difficult place because there is a lot of money and a lot of people but there is uh, the culture of collectors isn't so established in Berlin, like I started in Munich, I started in Munich, and I came from Munich to Berlin, so uh, I see the difference. Like in uh, Munich, there is like already established collector collectors, and in Berlin, it's now building, and it's great to be here for the beginning of this process as a young gallery and yet yeah, to uh, for, uh, form collectors with. <laughs> Yeah, 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 and it's a very like amazing thing to be in Berlin right now yeah. because everything is like, so dynamic and even though there's no like a strong collector base from Berlin but yeah. it attracts a lot of people from everywhere, yeah, right? so true. and everything, a lot of things are happening. And uh, what's about like being a human colorist in this male dominant world? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's like in every other... Yeah, and every other jobs and having being human is <laughs> being human and you're right through it. But there's also a lot of men of course who support it's not like uh, I have a, a lot of male artists uh, who are very supportive. I have a lot of female artists who are very supportive and yeah we work together and make the best. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so and as far as I understood the gallery 25 is yeah. because your first exhibition was at uh, your 25th birthday. Yes. Okay, okay. So it's your lucky number. Uh, yeah, and actually the, the house number is also 25. Uh, and it was yeah. a coincidence. <laughs> I didn't plan for looking for a space with 25, but I got one. And everybody thinks like the main gallery and the 25 comes because of the uh, number, but it's not. <laughs> it's because <laughs> so it's all destiny, it's all yeah. like, like planets, <laughs> like staying in front of each other. So what's about uh, the, this labeling uh, event that you're joining with uh, Gallery 25? Uh, what do you think about it? How do you feel it would be uh, in, in this context with Mason I, I'm, I'm very happy to be 
taking part in this event is, I think, a great thing, uh, especially for the gallery weekend. It's a great thing to have uh, a space with other galleries to do something. Um, and I also like the uh, Lebenssinn title because yeah, art is Lebenssinn. <laughs> art for me uh, was always very important. I think it makes a lot of sense in life to have art around you. It's, uh, yeah, motivates, uh, makes better emotion, makes you more happy, and yeah, I think it's a very, yeah, a lot of sense in life to have art around you, and I think it's a great uh, concept for for, uh, for an exhibition round, and my exhibition I'm going to show is in real life, it's on IRL, in real life it's three artists from Ireland who uh, will come to Berlin, so when I was Ten years ago, before I did my first uh, show, I met an internship in Ireland and uh, at a gallery in Hillsborough Fine Art, and uh, we still in contact. And now I took three of first artists and bring them to Berlin, and we'll show yeah, them here. And uh, that's Amanda Doran, uh, Cecilia Bulo, and George Warren. George Warren shows art. He's very intuitive, uh, but with a theme and his theme is yeah, um, video games. He uh, paints stuff from games like Tekken and it's spicy scene on the, on the painting. Amanda Doran is an artist who shows her everyday life, like you would do a Instagram photos, but she captured this in paintings, but her theme is more darker since the COVID time, she changed more into the metal punk uh, themes. And uh, Cecilia Bullo is an artist who uh, dominates with a very feministic view of point and also a point of her origins. She's uh, Italian but she lives in Ireland and she also like goes on with this scene how it is to be a foreign person in another country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, and what's your uh, relation with art? Like, how do you uh, relate with an artwork? What do you see in the first uh, place? Oh, uh, actually, I look what emotion it brings up to me. And uh, since I was a child, I loved to go through the catalogs my parents had of art. And I really uh, still remember my first official visit in a contemporary museum. And I, I remember the feelings I had when I see art and that's if, if an art piece can bring feeling into me then I appreciate it, I really like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely true. And uh, how do you think like uh, knowing the background of an artist is important to connect with the artwork? Oh, I... Oh, that's... It depends on the viewer. For me, it's not important. I, uh, for me, it's more important to see the artwork. Uh, but sometimes to understand in, a, in another way the artwork is less emotional but more scientific or, or more yeah, for you to get it. Uh, it's sometimes important to know. So it really depends also on the. Uh, like for the things I'm showing here, Taika Huber, you don't really need to know his background to really feel the art. But for uh, other artworks, other arts like Kantai uh, Wolf, who I have, uh, he had a lot of like racistic backgrounds in his histories and he produces into his art. So it's like good to know that he has this experience to understand his art better. So it really depends what kind of art you see and what kind of art it is. So. Yeah, that's absolutely true because, for example, these works are very like uh, aesthetically beautiful and everything is moving, so you don't need to know much about it. Yeah. But maybe a conceptual work, I don't know, like yeah. a shrub or like yeah, some, yeah. <laughs> or like a cocktail and banana, but you might need some <laughs> explanation why it costs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, thank you very much, Anna. Thank you. So, like uh, the gallery under the device in Schoenheim's Trust 25 yes. in Berlin, so go visit. And uh, soon there's going to be also this amazing exhibition either. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, for me, Lebensden. Lebensden for me.
for me is to do something what makes you happy. And art makes me very happy, so I'm doing art. <laughs>